Hi everybody, this is Patrick from Doggy Dashboard. Today I'm going to show you how to use the booking slots feature for a simple kennel boarding example. So let's go here and say our business has five boarding kennels. And we're just going to call them kennel one, kennel two, kennel three, four, five. You could really call them anything you want. You could name them kennel one. You could, uh, let's call this one slot three. Uh, and maybe you want to name this one uh, kennel for large. You can, can really name them whatever you want to. We're just going to use a basic example here to show you how it works. There we go. We have five booking kennels right now, let's call them. We'll go to our booking slot calendar. And there you can see kennel one, kennel two, slot three, kennel four, large, kennel five. And so let's say we uh, kennel one right there. We're going to put a dog in here. We'll put Rex in there from the 22nd until the 26th. Save that appointment. There we go. Let's say we have a kennel for a large that can fit two dogs. So let's uh, see if we can put two dogs in there. We'll put, let's see, Boris and Bentley can go in there from 8.15 until 3 p.m. on the 27th. There we go. And uh, let's just do one more in slot three. Uh, who's going to come in here? Let's put Luna comes in on the 21st for a couple days. There's Luna, she comes in at 7 a.m. and she's gonna leave on the 24th at 5.15 p.m. There we go, pretty simple. You can see it shows you all of your booking slots, which these are now gonna be kennels. And then if we go to the next week, you can see we're wide open, nothing there, nothing the following week. Go back to the current week and we can see all of our appointments. So this is how you'd use the booking slots to create a kennel layout for a kennel boarding business. If you have any questions, info at doggydashboard.com. Otherwise, have a great day.